great would ever be achieved without great men. And great men are only great if they are determined to do so. This is how to describe effort of Water Residents Community Development Association in Moson Okwala Local Council Development Area in terms of community projects embarked on to change the face of the area from what it used to be. Because of its name, we were expecting to be greeted by a pool of water when we visited us during the course of this report, but this is not so. The community was not named Water Resident CDA because it is water prone. The origin of the name was explained to us by the community leaders. There was a federal government project cited in this area before now, some 20, 30 years ago. And it's supposed to be the water project for the whole of uh, this area up to Ipaja. So it was situated just at the top there. And the area covers almost all these places then. So we could not do bad, named the area after that project. In the beginning, Walter community was a sorry sight to be old. The environment was in total mess. Nobody wants to live in a community in need of social amenities. What would come to our aid was the question on the lips of the few residents in the community in time past. So you can't move in the night, you only come in as early as 5, 6, 8 p.m. And if you want to come in in the night, you need to notify someone within the community that will come to the bus stop and wait for you, you know, back snatching, reptiles and so many things was in the community. But today now you can see the community has developed. It's like uh, somebody living in a thick forest. And in fact, all these good sights seen were not there because the only house within this area was CAC Church here and the other one down down there Cel Celestia Church. Having toyed with the idea of forming a community development association to match with the storm, members of this community eventually did and the result oceans in breath of fresh air. Today, Walter Resident CDA is in a shipshape manner and many people desire to live there. If we first look at the history of the place, um, it's a place that people had to come to because we needed urbanization. We had to move from our various houses or homes in uh, the city center to these areas. Apparently, um, Goan Estate is just one of our neighbors, so it tells you how there's been a spillover of development. Um, most of the landlords here have one vision. They want to make this place a beautiful place for them to stay in, to make a home out of the place. So every landlord, and even prospective landlord, has always had this sense of contribution and making the area a better place to stay in. A place like Alimo Shaw itself, it's gradually becoming kind of a urban area. So people need to move out of the place to ex for expansion. And that is how people start buying plots. In a place where we call, we used for farming before, they start buying the plots, they start developing. And with the help of coming together as one, as a community, that is how you got a kind of rapid development at water and people like coming to the place because of its proximity of the community to other areas. We enjoy roughly 15 to 17 hours light daily and because of that issue of light people want to come into water and the economy is peaceful where you just come into the area no snatching of bag, no arm robbery, no stealing of one thing or the other. We have a peaceful youth whereby when anything happens we go and we go to the landlord's house what happened when we try to look for solution to whatever thing the security guards are there, then the youth entirely say, we are doing the community policy, looking after the community whereby one thing or the other that wants to come up. If you see any strange face moving within the community, we will signal the police. Because presently, as I'm talking to you, if you want me to call the DP of Moshalashi to be here within 10 minutes, I'll do that. I have a direct contact with him. And that is part of the unity, the love, and the relationship we are trying to see 
synergize between we and neighborhood community and the security force outside there. Thousands of modern structures is now common sight in the area. This is because through community effort roads has been graded, drainage has been constructed, cables and poles has been bought to address past challenges and culvert has equally been constructed for channelization. What seems impossible was made possible through collective will of the people. We were able to achieve a lot within that uh, period of time. One is this road and all the link roads because there was no road when we first came here. In at water today, everything that you can see in water today is all our communal efforts. From our electrification, the community did all the cabling, and the everything that you can see in the community today. Yeah, actually, the local government, they gave us transformer. But we are the one that energized it and run the whole boat, the cable boat, the, the poles. We did it ourselves. We spent a huge sum of money, close to five million. Today we are enjoying. We have our own transformer. We have our own forum. We are no longer under government state. We are a body on our own. Even especially in most small corner of today, we are the only community that organize quiz, spelling, and debate competition for the children within the age of 17 and below in the entire most small corner. And we are the only community that organize talent on program, whereby we earn for talent, those are into music in one aspect or the other. Water resident CDA wants spirited Nigerians to partner with them. This is the prototype of the link bridge they want to be able to connect with surrounding communities in the area. How important is the link bridge? The CDA chairman explained amongst range of issues. I want a community that is devoid of all anchors, a community that is free from every incumbrances in anywhere, a community that is well secured. I want it to be a showcasing community in Lagos State most especially our Hebrew governor. He's really performing wonderfully, but we still expect more from him. We are Oliver Twist. We want him to go deep down to the grassroots. So that, and as a, a, the CDAs, we are the four-tier government. Like my CDA, we have a lot of abandoned projects did by the community themselves. You can see the, the, this place is an eyesore. The community have tried their best for the past 10 years, maintaining it. We bought, we bought this uh, chassis, we roll it, we, we, we connect to connect the two together. But because of the volume of water coming from other areas, it's eroded it away and we don't have any access. And this is only the link road that can connect us to two, three, four communities. The what the Celestial Town, the Alagunton zone, even it can lead us direct to Yanapaja. That, that transfer all the volume of water from Egbeda to Aburu, bigger canal. We are appealing to them, maybe big company that can take care of most few things for us, they are welcome. As you hear, the name is called Water Residence. It tells that there's a lot of water in the system here. So we want a lot of drainage to be done and then the roads. And I'm sure that will make us feel very much at home and be at par with other people in Lagos State. Lagos Community Update Crew also had an experience of what it is like for the people to connect with other community through the canal. We connect Celeste CDA. Welcome to Celestial Town Community Development Association. A peaceful community of about 500 residents of artisan and petty traders but majorly dominated by the Yorubas. Uh, so many tribes, in fact, so many tribes. We have Igbo, we have Yoruba, we have Hausas. Well, we don't have any problem in terms of relationship. We are all living cordially. The sense of belonging is there for every one of us that are living here. Both the Igbo, both the Hausa and the Yoruba, the sense of belonging is there and we are very, we cooperate with each other. It is located in the Lagos West Senatorial District. Select Town CDA shares boundary with water residents. According to the community members, the sheer determination of the CDA members brought them this far. Celestia Town is a community which was originated from a name called Celestia. Uh, that was, I was at the age of maybe 11 then, 
when I came into this community. And that is where and how the nature came into being. We try and make contribution by buying wires. Even this you are seeing by, at, the, at my back, we are the one that bought it. The area was bad when we came in. Most of the things, because of the, the erosion spoiled the road, and the, the road was bad, and the drainage, we did most of the drainage by ourselves. We, because we have given instruction that we, we each uh, landlord should do the drainage. As soon as he's constructing the building, he should do the drainage. They further stated that the encouragement received from the state government is a major push to achieve more. They are calling on well-spirited Nigerians to partner with them for community development-oriented projects in their areas.